Hello and welcome to the Vermont Forest Indicators Dashboard Walkthrough. The Indicators Dashboard is a tool that simplifies the way decision makers, educators, and the general public look at the condition of the surrounding forested ecosystems in their state. This tool currently provides a total annual score for the condition of Vermont's forest by referencing various long-term data sets that best quantitatively represent the current condition of the state's forest. The data sets contribute to four main categories, structure, condition, services, and stressors. To learn more about the Forest Indicators dashboard, head up to the info icon on the right side of the top banner. Here you will find general information about the tool, such as background information, methods, In the methods section, you are also able to filter through methods for specific data sets. Within the information pop-out, you also find a frequently asked questions section. Within the FAQ section, you'll find answers to commonly asked questions. The Acknowledgements tab will house the names of those that have contributed to the structural design of the tool, which is currently empty right now, but it will be updated later on. And lastly, you can find all versions of the tools that have been created so far. Here you can see changes or updates that have been made to the data. This is especially useful for citing the dashboard. To exit the information screen, select Close don't show again. Selecting don't show again will prevent the info screen from popping up each time you go to the tool on that specific computer. From the home page, you'll notice the overall score at the top and the four individual scores for each of the categories. The four categories contribute to the overall score. The scores are based out of five, with five suggesting that the forest is higher functioning or considered a healthy forest, the ideal condition. A score closer to 1 suggests that the forest may be impaired. We also provided an assessment of the long-term trends for each score, where a red circle indicates worsening, yellow indicates no change, and green shows an improved condition over time. For more information on how these scores are calculated, please refer to the methods section in the information window. To reiterate, the overall forest condition score is calculated from compiling the four category scores. Each category score is calculated from the annual scores of metrics or measurements that best represents the category. Clicking open a category will bring you to an overview page that further explains in detail what we mean by structure, condition, services, and or stressors. We calculate a score out of 5 for each metric, give it a weight and percents towards how much the metric should contribute to the overall category score, and we assess the direction of the metric's long-term trend. The data for each metric is also presented in a graph that can be downloaded as various image file types by selecting the button to the right. Let's open up one of these service indicators so that you can check out what I mean by all that. If you were interested in downloading this graph by chance, you would select this menu button over here, and then you could select to download the, the graph in any format, image format that you would like. Let's look through a couple more of our service indicators just so you can see what they all look like. So this circle here represents the direction of the long-term trend. Again, as I mentioned before, a red circle indicates that the long-term trend is worsening, whereas a yellow circle represents that there is currently no change with the long-term trend, and a green circle indicates that the long-term trend is improving over time. Additionally, within the Categories Overview page, you'll find additional resources that further explain uh, the resources that we've used to come up with the scores for each category.
That concludes our walkthrough of the Vermont Forest Indicators Dashboard. For any questions on how to contribute data or if you have interest in helping to expand this project, please contact us at fvmc at uvm.edu or www.uvm.edu slash fvmc.